Hey everyone, Jameson here with a really uh, simple project that I want to show. I have this gorgeous piece of bullseye glass and I've had a friend that asked if I could make a platter for her. And the largest that I can fit in my kiln is about, uh, well, 12 by 12 pushing it, but really more about 11 and 3 quarter by 11 and 3 quarter. And so, you know, with bullseye, you've got this uh, rolled edge, which I think people have kind of a love-hate relationship with. I think in particular with this piece of glass and all the motion that's happening in here, I think this rolled edge is beautiful. But if I were to trim that off, uh, I'd really, even being conservative, or really aggressive, I should say, I'd really only get a platter that's about 10 by 10, and I wanna give her the biggest piece possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut um, this to 11 and 3 quarter, and then I'm gonna have this big gap so I'm gonna just fuse this onto clear Tecta and I'm gonna cut another piece of Tecta to match these curves as close as I can. I don't think it's gonna to have to be exact, but I would like for them to be a fairly close match and full fuse so that I've got this uh, uh, clear uh, piece along one side of the platter, but that takes advantage then of this beautiful uh, rolled edge. So uh, I'll cut this glass, show you what I'm working on, and then uh, we'll see how the finished piece turns out. Okay, so I've cut my piece of glass to 11 and 7 eighths, <clears throat> and now I've got a clear piece of text, Tecta, that I'm gonna use as my scrap, and all I'm doing is just drawing myself a little bit of a tracing line along the edge of this rolled edge, and now I will Cut that piece out. Okay, here we go. I gotta clean this up a little bit, but uh, this is my 11 and 7 eighths by 11 and 7 eighths sheet of clear with my beautiful piece of bullseye on top with the rolled edge. And I've cut my other piece here to match. There's a small gap in a couple of spots. And so I think I'm gonna put a couple of pieces of frit, uh, crystal clear coarse frit, just to kind of help seal that up in a couple of places and pull everything together. I'm gonna to do this to a full fuse with a bubble squeeze and uh, we'll come back and see what it looks like. Okay, happy day, happy day. I pulled it out of the kiln and this worked uh, nearly perfectly. The only thing was that it pulled in just a little bit right on that joint. But I put some frit down, uh, some crystal clear frit in a couple of places where I had gaps uh, including right here on the end where I was worried that it was going to pull in and that just, uh, that was, I mean, it's nearly perfect. You can barely feel where that joint was. You can see it a little bit more over here, but I can live with that. So, um, this was a great way of extending, well, first of all, using this rolled edge as a design element, extending this now to be a full, almost 12 by 12 plate. I'm, I've got a great mold that I love that I'm going to fuse this down into and uh, we'll see what the finished product looks like. But so far I'm very pleased that turned out exactly as I had hoped. Okay, here's the finished piece. It worked perfectly. I love the way it slumped into the mold. I, I love these molds, the square slumpers from Bullseye. So I followed their firing schedule 300 up to 1180 that I held for five minutes and then uh, standard anneal down and uh, turned out really well. So uh, this is not the only uh, platter that you'll find with rolled edges, obviously. In fact, um, Bullseye, I found after the fact, had a video that they featured. Um, I'm sure you could find it if you Google it, or maybe I'll just drop the link into the description below. But uh, they, you know, their approach was a little different than what I did here. But uh, I think that rolled edges can be a neat design element. I am naming this piece Zeus because I think this totally looks like a face and uh, so Zeus is the name of this platter. This one's already uh, already sold. It's going to my great friend Jill, and uh, I hope that she loves it as, as much as I do. I think it turned out really well, and uh, I'm gonna do more uh, fun things with rolled edges because I think it is a really neat way to maximize the glass and the design at the same time. Follow me uh, and subscribe for future videos.